Hi, report creators. In this video, we're going to talk about how to set up data for the drill down timeline visual. So the timeline visual is a visual meant for date and time data exploration. It allows you to drill down from decades down to even milliseconds. And in this example right here, you can see we have some monthly data for one year and a bit of half. So what we're going to do here is, for example, click down on one single month, and you can see we drill down to a daily level. The chart also allows us to move to the left or the right, basically allows us to adjust the time span that we're looking into. One another cool thing that you can do here is if you go back, for example, and instead of just simply clicking on a month, you select two months, and then you click on that selection, it actually drills down into those two months specifically. So this basically allows you to choose custom time periods and drill down into those. And in order to build such a visual, there are certain things that you need to know prior in order to make the best of it. So in this case, we're going to talk about certain fields. Those are going to be the date hierarchy, the date value x-axis, and of course, the series where you can combine up to 25 different series. Now, if you are interested in the data preparation part of the data that's necessary for these fields, make sure to check out this video right here. Other than that, feel free to keep watching the video and learn about the capabilities of the Timeline Pro Visual. So the first field that we're going to be looking into is going to be the date hierarchy. The date hierarchy actually supports two different modes. It supports a regular standard date hierarchy that Power BI creates automatically for you. And the other one is a custom build hierarchy that you can just add in directly into the visual. So the main difference between them is that a typical date hierarchy is going to have a year, quarter, month, and day. In custom time periods, you can also have things like hours, seconds, minutes, 15 minutes, and so forth. Now, regarding the hierarchies and the units that you add within it, there's actually also a quick tip right here. If you hover over the name of the field date hierarchy, it showcases you all the support of different time granularities. Also, down in the description, there's going to be a documentation link where you can see more information regarding the supported units for the date hierarchy. Now, after the date hierarchy, the next field that you need to know about is going to be the date x-axis. So if you click on a visual, you can see it's the second field right here. And mainly, the idea behind the field is that this allows you to connect the actual dates to the hierarchy that you have previously constructed. It's very simple. You just add a regular date field right here, and it's going to work just fine. Now, one thing to note, though, if in the visual you have also granularities for, let's say, the time dimension, you need to make sure that the date field that you applied here also has that information available. What that means is, right here, for example, I have a regular date field, which is just the date component itself. And in the hierarchy, you can see I have an hour. So, for example, if I choose January, drill down onto the day level, click on one of the days, you can see nothing really happens. Now, if I do the same thing on the second chart, which has a date and time, instead of just a regular date field, you can see that I can choose the same things, January 23rd, and now it drills down into the time component. So always make sure that if you do have any time components into the hierarchy, that the date field you add on x-axis also has the time dimension available. All right, once we're done with the date hierarchy and the date axis field, the next one is going to be the series. The timeline visual actually allows you to combine up to 25 different series. Each of those series is essentially the value that you want to plot on top of the timeline. And the way you can actually customize this even further is if you go down into the formatting options and scroll down, you can see that there are two ways on how you can combine it. One of them is you can enable series defaults, which essentially means that you're going to be customizing all the series altogether. So for example, let's say I want to switch all of them to be lines or all of them to be areas. You can do this simply by using the series defaults. Now, if you disable this, you have the option of customizing each series independently. And each and every one of them can be a line, column, area. You can stack them. You can cluster them. The chart is actually able to create more than 200 different variations of these series that you can combine here. And the last thing that I also wanted to cover in this video is going to be the drill through setup because it differs a little bit from the native visuals. The principle is the same, but there is a small difference. So the way that you set up the drill through is the same as you would with the native with the beginning of creating a new page with the drill through fields and everything. But the detail here is that you need to add all the levels of the hierarchy that you have within the visual as the drill through fields. Otherwise, the drill through is not going to be working properly. So in cases where you're using the native hierarchy, you add every single unit itself into the drill through fields right here. And if we go back to the visual, you can see right here, I can drill down, for example, into the January, right click on one of the dates, drill through and go to the details page. Now, if you have built a custom model, so let's go back to the previous one. 
you can see that in this case, we're using a custom hierarchy. So we're not using the fields from the, the built-in hierarchy. And if I right click, I don't have drill through available. So again, go to the drill through page and add the layers of the hierarchy that you want to have within the drill through. So in this case, I'm adding a year, month, hour, and day. Go back to the visual, drill down into, for example, June 2020, right click on one of the days and drill through into the details. All right, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching and happy reporting.